Hello, my dear J Warriors. Do let me know if I'm loud and clear. This is your Captain Shreyas going live on the Vedantu J English channel. And today we'll see the J mains 2024 April attempt expected marks, shift wise cutoffs, as well as the expected percentiles. So let me know quickly if everything is clear and audible. Yes, let me know, my dear students. Yeah, looks like I am live and uh, clear. Okay, cool. So let's, let's, let's see all the important shift wise cutoffs and uh, all these calculations were done based on our trend analysis on the January attempt, what students wrote, what students expected and the sample size that we had collected and based on that, what did they actually get? And this time also we collected our students marks and what they were getting before and what did they get in April attempt? We have compared those ranks, their percentiles, their marks and also we ourselves have added few more inputs into each shift to give you this proper trend analysis. Yes, it is completely shift wise Dinesh because see, understand there is no point of telling for 190 marks you will get 98 percentile because it depends on your shift. If you remember the blunder, the disaster which happened in January, especially the first day. Do you remember that? unexpectedly high marks for you know 99 or even 90 percentile so that is why please do not waste your time watching general videos over 90 marks i will get this for 99 marks i will get this no point of that that is why i have given you shift wise analysis and i'm also going to tell you which was the toughest and easiest shift in fact the cutoffs also i'm going to give you for basically je advanced are you ready for it first of all have you smashed the like button Guys, there are a lot of channels which are doing really good work in Hindi. And this is your only, only channel for J in English. And we started this channel long time back, three, four years back, just, you know, uh, during COVID. And really thanks to all the subscribers out here to make this channel grow so big, more than 2,25,000 subscribers. So let's make it even bigger. So need your help. Talk about this to your juniors, to your super juniors and everyone who is preparing for J. Because for all the little kids out there who are going from 10 to 11, there are amazing things which are going to happen on this channel as well. Just like we did for you. So starting off with the first shift on 4th of April. Yeah, there was 4th shift, uh, right? Uh, sorry, 4th April, 1st shift. You can see that the paper was very similar to the January attempt. The physics was decently okay only. I mean, it was not as pathetic as the January attempt. Chemistry also was very similar to the Jan attempt. Maths was as usual lengthy but not very difficult. 99 percentile comes to close to 99 percentile around 196 to 200 marks, 97 to 155 to 160 marks, 95 percentile from 140 to 145 marks. And the cutoff expected over here is between 115 to 118. Like you can see the cutoffs are higher than your 2022 or even 2023 because this year things have been very competitive and very very different number of students writing it is also also uh, very different every year yes thank you so much uchuk puchuk means a lot yes where is 98 you can extrapolate in between so it will be between 160 and 200 so expect somewhere close to 180 this is your basic idea that you will get from this you can guess where will be 94 where will be 90 uh, six, where will be 90? You can extrapolate this. I hope this gives you a general idea. See guys, don't expect sir will give for 88, 87, 86, 85. That nobody can give and if somebody is giving, that means they have all the NTA data with them and they know everything. So these are based on our, you know, trend analysis and what students have been giving in our batches and what they have got in the January attempt. Is that clear? Going to shift two. How many of you are there in on, uh, you know, 4th April shift one or shift two? You know, mark your attendance by smashing the like button right away, right now. In shift two, physics was again similar. It was, uh, you know, again, same history was repeated like January attempt. No change there. 99 percentile, 97 and 95 percentile was in the similar range. But you can see for 99, it has gone up slightly higher. That means the paper was little bit easier than the, you know, first shift. 205 to 210, 97 
percentile you will get for 160 to 165 that's what we are expecting 95 percentile anywhere between 150 to 155 marks cut off this cut off is slightly higher 120 to 124 if you compare it with the first ship it has gone slightly higher so that means you know for you to be eligible for writing j advance you should be at least on this side this is the safe score for writing j advance yes i am coming to 8th april also i am coming to everything 5th april shift 1 99 percentile for 198 to 202 97 percentile for 158 to 162 95 percentile for 140 to 145 cutoffs expect anywhere between 118 to 120 marks that's your safe score for writing j advance 5th april shift 1 mark your attendance by smashing the like button yeah which is going to be the toughest what do you guys think is this uh, what you expected it to be or is it below your expectations or are these marks higher than your expectations i know if you are seeing that sir this is really really tougher than whatever i expected it to be don't worry there are many things that we can do for you know backup examinations be it bitsat srmj and vit triple year eap sat hold on for that if you talk about shift 2 of 5th april 99 percentile between 200 and 202 97 for 160 to 162 95 for 148 to 150 cutoff expected between 120 and 122 that is what you can expect it to be right then if you go to 6th april shift one mark your attendance by smashing the like button the paper was very similar as jan attempt physics was similar chemistry had some tricky questions in this maths was again usual stuff lengthy questions and decent questions were there now if you see 99 percentile has gone down from 200 to 192 to 194 marks 97 percentile for 150 marks 95 percentile for 140 marks and the cutoffs anywhere between 112 to 115 so these shift students you can expect slightly lower cutoffs so slightly easier shift is what you can say is that right everybody okay very good going on to the next shift number two chemistry was not as tricky as before physics and maths as usual physics was direct questions very few moderate questions maths was again lengthy and tricky if you look at the percentiles versus marks 99 percentile you will get 190 uh, to 192 marks 97 percentile around 150 marks 95 for 136 to 138 marks if you talk about the cutoffs it's anywhere between 110 to 112 is that right okay everybody the cutoffs are lower that means it's a easy shift it's a easy shift i hope this is clear 9th april uh, shift uh, answer keys will be giving you very soon don't worry the pdf will be sending okay next shift number one of 8th april 8th april students lot of students from 8th april please smash the like button right away right now now akila please don't get scared looking at these numbers i know if i were you and if i was not getting expected marks i will be heartbroken and i can't even imagine what must be going on in your mind when you see that the percentages are not as expected as you wanted it to be obviously you want sir for this marks i get 96 percentile i get 90 percentile or i clear the cutoff but when it doesn't happen i know it hurts a lot but let me tell you my dear students the, uh, this this thing of regret this feeling of you know not getting what you want is there with thousands of students and you are not alone in it number two there are many backup options which you can give and you can do really well in life even through these backup options and the backup colleges that you get but you feel that no i don't want to settle down for any of the other colleges there is always an option to take a drop and there is nothing wrong in taking a drop let me tell you that so those decisions you can take over a period of few months but my point is you please prepare for the backup op options right now okay so shift one on 8th april 99 for 188 to 190 marks 97 percentile 150 marks 95 percentile for 132 to 134 marks this was again a very easy shift you can see the questions in this shift were very very easy if you remember that day so many repeated questions simple laddu questions had come okay 106 to 108 marks was there so that has become a lower cutoff so there were some tricky questions also on that day that is why probably the cutoffs would have gone little bit on the lower side is that okay everyone let's go to the next one let's go to the next one this was the toughest one this was the toughest paper so uh, guys remember you can see as these marks are going down it will become tougher so you can see lowest lowest cutoff was for shift to 8th april 
96 to 98 per, uh, marks you will get uh, then you will clear the cutoff 96 to 98 marks that means you will clear the cutoff so be careful so this was the toughest of all 99 percentile for 180 marks 97 percentile for 138 to 140 marks 95 percentile for 122 to 144 marks yes i hope this is very very clear i hope this is very very clear yeah so 8th april has been the toughest day of all the shifts if you notice 8th april shift 2 was the toughest shift 1 was moderately tough other shifts were okay. I mean, the easiest one, if you see, was this one. 4th April shift 2. Look at the cutoffs. They have gone really high. This cutoff is also very high. So, these were easy shifts. These were easy shifts. And when you see the cutoffs have gone low, these are difficult shifts. Going on to 9th April, you can see the cutoffs have again been on the lower side. That means it was difficult, not as difficult as 8th of April, 99 percentile for 184 marks, 97 for 142 marks, 95 percentile for 126 marks. So that was your trend for shift 1, 9th April that is today. And then when we go to basically shift number 2 of 9th April, that is 99 percentile you will get for 194 marks, 97 percentile for 153 to 155 marks, 95 percentile for 140 to 142 marks. Cutoffs are on the higher side. That means this was not difficult. This was a little bit easier shift. It was not as difficult. The last one. Okay. I hope this is clear. So this was your shift wise analysis right from 4th April to basically 9th April. So I hope this gave you a clear cut idea of where you stand and what you need to work for. Now what I need from you is in a comment, sir, am I preparing for drop? Am I preparing for J advance or for backup exam? Now, backup exams means SRMJ, VIT Triple E, BITSAT, CUET, UGWE. Actually, UGWE, you cannot even call it backup because the colleges you get is very nice. And then, uh, you know, any other exam like EAP, CET for Telangana or Andhra Pradesh. I want that clear cut comment from your side. And students who are preparing for that exam, if you don't want to comment, at least like that comment. That is one thing that you can do that will give us a sense of how many people are there you know, for each kind of exam. Be very frank because we are very frank to you. I want that frankness in that comments. So please do that. Okay. Please do that. Put it up in the comments and more the comments, more the likes. We will be, you know, happy to take up those sessions. Tomorrow we are going to launch EAP SAT for Telangana and Andhra English batch on YouTube. Number one. Number two, SRMG and VIT Triple E batch launch tomorrow again and all the strategy. It's not just the batch launch. Oh, sir, batch is launching. Okay. No. What are you exactly planning? How to plan your days? Everything. Okay. And other exams. Obviously, J Advance is coming. Don't worry. Okay. So stay tuned on the channel. Make sure you are subscribed and you are on this channel. Remember, guys, for any kind of doubt that you have, for any kind of doubt that you have, you can always put up a comment and let me also tell you if, if you are preparing for any of the backup uh, examinations, there is a beautiful, beautiful gift for all of you. There are J Advanced Rank Accelerator books, obviously, and then you have the test series for each of the individual exams. Say, for example, you are preparing for VIT Triple E. Click on this link. The VIT Triple E test series is just there for, you know, 499 rupees, just for 499 rupees, right? Similarly, Let's say you're preparing for BITSAT. BITSAT test series is there. Let's say you want to predict your rank and you want to see your percentiles. Just click on this link. You can predict your marks, ranks, percentiles, everything and which college also you can get. If you are preparing for J Advance, then I would suggest click on this link because on Amazon, the J Advance Rank Accelerator books are there. Right now, I think the link is broken, but yeah, we'll uh, put it up. So it's basically your J Advance Rank Accelerator books for your J advanced preparation, this has been prepared by Vedantu. Completely unseen questions, 1000 plus questions with solutions, physics, chemistry, maths available on Amazon. Get it delivered. Don't waste your time reading random books. You need those specific books. Last year, 1500 students cleared J advanced from Vedantu alone. Keep that in mind. Yeah. For BitSat also, yes, we will be doing. And guess what? On the channel, don't you want J uh, English and aptitude and logical reasoning also to be covered? Well, let me tell you, we have some good news for you uh, in the store. So stay tuned on the channel. Okay. So logical reasoning, aptitude and English, every subject will be covered on this channel. This is your Captain Shreya signing off. 